Okay, this is an update on my non-stop running devices um, at eight years of runtime on the experiment. And this is the champion uh, of all the ones I've built here or acquired and set up. It's the uh, Laser Saber Easy Spin, uh, version 2, I believe, and that he sent me the parts for. Uh, partially complete. I finished it, added electronic circuit, and it ran um, pretty much non-stop for about six years, and then at seven years it started to stop, and I took it apart, and it had gotten lint in the bottom bearing. Uh, it's a sapphire bearing with a steel needle, and I cleaned it up, put it back together, and started running again. Then the fall of this year, it started stopping again. And it was a bearing adjustment. That bearing, especially at the top there, has to be really, really loose, but not too loose, or the um, rotor drags on the stator. So that was a critical adjustment, and it's uh, just a friction fit on that bearing holder, sapphire bearing holder. But anyway, it's been running since December, so that continues to run. All these other ones here, um, the purpose of the experiment was to let them run until they stopped for whatever reason. Take it apart, look at it, and try to figure out what was the problem, and then try to fix it, and then start them up again, and then let them run and see what happens. And it's been really fascinating over the course of the years to see what causes uh, a device to stop, um, be it wear or deterioration of the basic elements or just a design flaw in the basic structure but um, this is what's going on at eight years and uh, very very interesting experiment that you, the only time you'd mess with it is when uh, something stops and then uh, you just let it go at that now um, there's one other um, project that I always show here at the at the end of my video on these lawn stop running devices and it's this thing here that I called the yearling and the purpose of that project was to take a AAA battery build a motor that would run off that AAA alkaline battery for a year and the fascinating thing about this is it was not really successful. It kept stopping and stopping and stopping and stopping. And I'd work on it and work on it and work on it. And I learned a lot over the course of eight years from that one little project. And what I learned was um, the bearings and what made a good bearing and what didn't. The uh, circuit and how the circuit worked. It's a two transistor complementary uh, transistor power source is a AAA battery. So you've got so much energy, it's an alkaline battery, and then you try to get that thing to power that thing for a year. But one of the things I found out about this was you have to have a good basic design. If your good basic design is flawed, you're not going to achieve your goal. And the flaw on that design was it's not rigid. And when this... Um, house gets hot or too cold, the structure changes and warps, and that causes that rotor to stop, and once it stops, it won't restart. So anyway, that's just the update on my non-stop running devices at eight years. Thanks for watching.